Welcome to this YSL Report Builder tutorial. In this short video, we'll have a look at how you can replace divide by zero errors in a table. The video covers two different errors you're likely to encounter when dividing by zero. We'll start by looking at what happens when you divide a zero by a zero, and then how you can replace the NAN or not a number errors that occur. Then we'll move on and look at what happens when you divide a non-zero value by zero, and how you can replace the infinity errors that occur. So let's get started. To get started, I've created a new report in Report Builder, and the first thing I need to do in here is to create a data source which connects to the movie's database. If you don't already have a copy of the database, you can work out how to install it using this video that we've published previously. Back in Report Builder, I can right click the data sources folder and choose Add Data Source. I'll call my data source Movies, as I always do, and then choose to use an embedded connection. I can then click the Build button on the right hand side to get a bit of help with creating my connection string. The server name I'll connect to in this case will be dot backslash SQL 2017. And then from the drop down list towards the bottom, I should be able to select my movies database. Having done that, I can click OK and OK again. Now I can create a basic data set which returns the fields I'll need to demonstrate the techniques in this video. So let's right click on the movies data source and choose add data set. I'll call the data set films and then I'll use the query designer to help me build it. When the list of tables appears, I can expand the tables folder and then expand the film table. And in this data set, I'd like to include the title column, followed by the runtime minutes, then the Oscar nominations and the Oscar wins. Having done that, I can click OK and OK again. Then I can just create a basic table to display those basic fields. So let's tidy up the report a little bit. We'll get rid of this placeholder text box and we'll remove the page footer. Then we can right click into the report and choose to insert a table. We can then assign the fields from the data set to the table in the usual way. And when we run out of fields or columns, we can either insert a new one or just click and drag the remaining fields from the data set. Just to avoid seeing the, uh, the or not seeing the text in the table, you may be aware of this annoying little uh, text display bug by now, where we wipe out a bunch of cells, we don't see the text for everything. A quick way to solve that problem is to highlight all the cells in the table and then simply change the font to a different font name and then switch it back to the original one. And then the next time you run the report, everything should appear as normal. Okay, so we're ready at this point to start creating our calculated fields. The first calculated field we'll create is going to divide the number of Oscar wins by the number of Oscar nominations. So to do that, we can right click on the film's data set and choose to add a calculated field. We can give the field a sensible name. Let's call this one uh, win rate or something along those lines. We can then click the FX button on the right hand side to launch the expression builder and then simply build up our expression by inserting the relevant fields from the fields category. So I'll start by selecting the fields category and then double click the Oscar wins field. I can then type in a forward slash for divided by and then double click the Oscar nominations field. Having done that, I can click OK and then OK again. And then I'll add my win rate column to my table. And having done that, run the report to see the result. So for films which have a number of wins and nominations, we'll see uh, not particularly neatly formatted number, but a number nonetheless. So Jurassic Park, what, uh, won three of three Oscars, so the win rate is one or 100%. Uh, King Kong won three of four, so its win rate is 0.75 or 75%. The problem we've got here, of course, is for films which didn't receive any nominations at all. We're dividing zero by zero and resulting in an NAN or not at number error. And ideally, we'd like to replace that with a value of zero. So let's have a look at a couple of ways we can solve this problem. The simplest way to solve this problem is to check if the value of the Oscar nominations column is zero, and if so, display a zero as the result. To make that work, let's get back to the, uh, the field, the expression we created for the win rate field. We can right click on win rate and choose field properties. And then we can click on the FX button next to the expression text box to get back to the expression builder. So currently we have this expression which divides wins by nominations, but we only want that to happen if the Oscar nominations is not zero. So what we're going to do is include an if function just before the expression which calculates this result. You can either type in the name of the if function, or if you can't remember how to spell it, you can go to the common functions category and then expand the, the, uh, the program flow category. And you'll find the if function is listed there, spelt with two I's in reporting services or report builder. 
So I'm going to type in IIF and then open some parentheses and then I'm going to check if the value of the Oscar nominations field is zero. To do that, I'm going to click on the fields category and then double click Oscar nominations and then I can check equal to zero. If I then type in a comma, that moves me to the second parameter of the if function, which is what to do if that condition has returned true. So if the Oscar nominations is zero, I'd like to produce a zero as a result of the expression. I can then type in a second comma to move to the third parameter of the if function, which is the value to return if that original test is false. So in that case, I want to divide wins by nominations. All I need to do now is close the parentheses at the end of the expression, and you ought to end up with a full, complete expression looking something like this. Having done that, let's click OK and OK again. And then when we, when we run the report again, this time we should see that items that were previously NAN or not a number now display zero instead. So that's all working quite nicely. So we've seen that when we divide zero by zero, we receive the NAN error. There's another error you might see when you divide a non-zero number by zero. Let's create a new calculated field that's going to divide the runtime in minutes by the Oscar wins. Uh, it's not a particularly meaningful value. We'll get the number of minutes per Oscar win. But the important thing here is that we're going to divide some non-zero numbers by some zeros. So let's right click on the film's data set and choose add calculated field. We'll call this, let's call it mins per win. And then we can click the FX button to launch the expression builder. We can then simply perform the calculation as we've done previously. If we go to the fields category, we can double click runtime minutes divided by Oscar wins. When we then click OK and OK again, we can drag the mins per win column into the table. And then when we run the report, we'll see some numbers where the, uh, where the film has received some Oscar wins. So for Jurassic Park, we're dividing 126 by three and receiving 42. But where the film has not won an Oscar, we see this little symbol here, which is the symbol for infinity. It's a slightly different error when we divide a non-zero number by zero. But the approach to solving that problem is the same as we've just seen. Let's head back to the design view and modify this expression to remove those infinity errors. We can right click on the mins per win field and choose to view the field properties and then click the FX button next door to the mins per win expression. Once again, we can insert an if function at the beginning of this expression to check if the value of Oscar wins equals zero. So I can type in IIF, open some parentheses and then head to the fields list and double click the Oscar wins field and then ask if that is equal to zero. If I then type in a comma, I can say that I would like to return zero if that condition returns true, followed by another comma to perform the original calculation if Oscar wins is not zero. So I can then close the parentheses at the end of the expression and you ought to end up with something looking a bit like this. Let's click OK a couple of times and then head back to the report by running it. And we should see now that any infinity errors have been replaced with zeros, just as we expected and wanted. OK, so there's just a couple of very basic techniques for removing your NAN and infinity errors when you divide a value by zero. Nothing particularly complicated there, but hopefully you found that useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.